sponsored by the Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of a Bobby Bone show. Welcome to the Rock Interview. We've got a world-class bass player with us, based out of New York, originally from Chicago, Illinois, who has toured with Herbie Hancock and also played on The Tonight Show for three years. Kenny Davis, thanks for coming on the Rock Interview. Oh, it's great, and I'm honored to be here. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you know, you have such an incredible body of work as a bassist, and, uh, and we were talking before we started the show. Man, you played with Willie Nelson, Jewel, Al Green, Roberta Flack, and, and even you even played with Reba McIntyre. Yes, yes, she's a sweetheart. You know, and also, you know, I, I'm honest, I still play with a Carmen Lundy, uh, 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 Cassandra Wilson, and, uh, you know, the list goes on. Yeah, and, and Cassandra, you know, you were on the uh, Grammy Award winning album also for her. Yes, 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 yes. What incredible stuff. Well, you know, and I think it's amazing too, Kenny, that also you're still giving back with students and everything, teaching at Rutgers. Yes. And, and you are the jazz bass professor. Yes, I'm the jazz bass professor. However, uh, they have to play, they all have to play a major j uh, classical piece. And because uh, I studied with Warren Benfield the Chicago Symphony. So, you know, I, th I have to incorporate the two. And matter of fact, uh, uh, since we are home, I still have uh, group lessons with them j just for something to do. <laughs> just for something How to do. amazing. Yeah. That is so great. Well, and also you're still doing session work. Obviously, you know, based in New York, you know, uh, nobody is really out playing full shows anymore, maybe virtual shows. But you're still doing session work, yeah. even for some players here in Nashville. Yes, yes, yes. I just uh, did, uh, I sent a song in with the silent bass to a great trumpet player in Nashville named Rod Magaha. And I just finished a couple of weeks ago uh, doing a record with, uh, doing playing on his record, Mr. Will Downey. Great R&B wow. singer. Oh, yeah. We How incredible. Masks. We have masks on. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we have to do at this age. We right. know, and it's a, it's a testament to, you're so fluent on electric bass. And, and I love, you know, a lot of your influences, which are a lot of mine, you know, like Earth, Wind and Fire, you know, and, and so many of these great bands, you know, that we both grew up with. But yeah. also, you ended up gravitating towards the upright bass. And yes. now, now you're out and about with the new Yamaha silent bass. Yes. You know, it's, it's amazing how things go around. You know, uh, I came to Yamaha at the NAMM show a few years ago, and I played the silent bass. I said, wow. Well, the first time I heard the silent bass was with Nathan East, you know. And uh, we were doing a Carmen Lundy record live in, at the Madrid in L.A. Yeah. He made the silent bass. I was like, oh, silent bass. Oh. Then he played it. I was like, oh. So I snuck out to the sound guy, the soundboard. I said, come here. Can you turn the bass up a little bit so I can hear it? And he played it. I said, wow. You know, and it sounded, that silent bass sounded great. So I said, man, next time I go to the NAMM show, I'm going to Yamaha and, and, and see what we can do. And a couple of years later, here I am. <laughs> well, you know, it's amazing, too. You know, I was at the NAMM show this past January, and I got to see him, you know, play it. I got to handle the new model. But also with the new studio response technology, you can really yes. dive in different microphones and everything and get that true. Because you're a true bass player. I play at bass. But it's like, I love the sound of an upright bass. And I think now with that Yamaha that you've been using, you're really achieving that now. Yes, yes. Now, the great thing about it, it has three high-end microphones. Now, if you would go to the store and just buy these three high-end mics, you probably would wind up paying at least $15,000 wow. for, for the mics that, that, that they assimilated, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, and also like you and I were joking about earlier, you know, and, and being in a big city as you are in New York, it, it might be a little bit easier to transport the Yamaha Silent than it is your standard model upright bass, right? Oh, let me tell you, yes, <laughs> extremely easy. Matter of fact, I got the, when the Silent bass came out, I was doing a gig with my band at a club in New York, and so I went and picked it up, I put, got the bass, put it together, soon, and we were finished, put it back in the case, and I put it strapped it around my, my back like that, like I was a trumpet player, and I walked out. <laughs> that is amazing. So, yeah, and I got to ask you too on it, Kenny, what do the audiences say? Because I mean, you know, they're hearing, you know, and, and I love your tonality with, with your playing, but they're hearing this, this huge bottom end, right. you know, and there you are playing the Yamaha Silent, and it's like, do you get strange looks on stage or when you walk into like studios and stuff with it? Yes. Uh, uh, here, here because I'm, I'm one of the newest artists, so you'll, usually when I walk in, I'm walking in with an acoustic bass, so that's what they used to hear. 
and I'm talking about, I'm playing with older guys, uh, jazz masters, and they say, oh, Kenny, I don't know you, man. I said, don't. <laughs> but when I started playing it, they were like, oh, you know, because they trust me. And right. When I started playing and they heard the sound of the bass, and they're like, oh, man, you know, okay, you can play this anytime. <laughs> <laughs> and this is coming from older jazz musicians who are right. the mainstream guys, and they, and they say, oh, you can play that. Well, you can play that one anytime. Yeah. yeah, and you're the young guy coming in there. You know, they've got yeah, their yeah. jazz boxes. Like, what's this kid doing bringing in this right, bass? Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I want to make sure, too, Kenny, it's like with everything that you've got going, you know, uh, are you working on another solo album possibly? I, you know what? I was just writing some more music for my new solo record coming up a couple of days ago. So I'm still writing music for it. It's, another one's going to come out, you know. That's and great. I, I know how well the, your last ones were received. And also, you know, you stay so busy between session work and your teaching at Rutgers and everything else, but uh, you got to put some new music out. I, I am. You know, here's my schedule. Here's my schedule at Rutgers. I teach there on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I had to leave Thursday to catch a flight to uh, South Korea. I get back in time. To, early, I get back in time. Early Tuesday morning, I go straight from the airport to my class. Two days later, I'm on another flight going to South Africa. And I, <laughs> that's the, so that's how it's been sometimes. I don't know how you keep that schedule, Kenny. Oh, it's easy. I do my, I do my schoolwork on the plane. <laughs> and also probably now when you're, when you're uh, taking on the Yamaha silent bass on the plane, they don't give you funny looks now. Well, you know, now with, with the, um, the uh, SKB makes a great SKB makes a great uh, case. It's for an 88 keyboard, and you can just put the silent bass in there, and you can put the stand in there, and and it's great. That's how you can transport. It. Wow, that's amazing. Well, I want to make sure our viewers know also, Kenny. Where should they go for your website and for your social media to keep up with everything you've got going and for your new album that's going to be coming out later this year? Okay, they can go to www.kennydavis.net. And then it, it will come up, and then pretty soon, all the silent bass stuff is going to be on there. Yeah. Really? So you're going to be doing some demos with it, too? I'm going to do, I'm going to do a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I want to make sure that our viewers, uh, you know, uh, once again, checking out the Yamaha silent bass, uh, you know, go visit the Yamaha website, and a lot of your local stores will have this. But if you want to hear a professional using it, be sure and check out Kenny Davis, yes. and uh, you'll hear him on more tracks playing it as well, right, Kenny? Oh, yes, I'm going to put some uh, examples on there. Silent basis, that's, that's the way to go. <laughs> All right. Well, Kenny Davis, thank you so much for joining the Rock Review. It's great showcasing you and your work. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me, and I'm honored to be here with you all, and I'm honored to just promote the Silent Bass. Sponsored by The Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of the Bobby Bones Show.